Hello, Claire and Martin. <laughs> Welcome to the instalment for lighting the charcoal. Veronica is filming. She doesn't want to speak. She might say hello. Maybe not. Right, you can see here we have one chimney with the grid in and this one has got no grid in. Put three bits of newspaper rolled up. That's three bits. Oh, Veronica spoke. <laughs> three bits here. Now I'll turn this over. Good close up there, Veronica. Right, now we get some sticks anywhere around the garden to let them dry out and put some gloves on so we don't get spiked. charcoal going. Same on this side. Because we're doing chicken today, we need to do a mixture of lump wood and briquettes. So, start with your lump wood. some briquettes. And that's it. We need to now light it. We can add some more charcoal once the uh, wood has gone down. But to light it, we're going to get a close up. Let's turn this down. You're only too high because it'll blow out the uh, the newspaper bit. We should get loads of smoke to annoy the neighbours, but that doesn't last long. So we'll come back to top up once we can. Okay, you can see here this is dropped now, and this has dropped a little bit. We've still got smoke, 
But we can now add a bit more charcoal in there. Now here you can see the beauty of not having a grid in there is that we can actually lift this so we can actually add more in there while it's still in, inside the cylinder Topping up with lump wood. Yes, that's right. Uh, I need to get another bag because these are very small, so I need to go and get a new bag. But that's the principle of it. So, uh, see you next to do the chicken. Hello, and welcome to preparing chicken for a rotisserie barbecue. <laughs> right, so we've got some nice chicken thighs here. And what you want to do is we don't want too much fat here, so we get this. And we cut this bit off here. It's a good size. Again, get the thigh, cut some excess fat here. And this, especially, is the one that needs to come off. It's got a nice sized shape there. Again, Cut this piece off. Okay, that's enough. These are not too bad. Some you may get quite large pieces like there. That all needs to come off. And if you like, you can actually sort them into smaller ones. So the smaller chicken goes in the ends, but these are a good size, even size. So I'll do all these and then I'll show you how to thread them. Okay, Bye. Got chicken prepared now. Uh, we've got the skewers, we've got 16 thighs in total, so 8 on each side. So they're all about even, so it doesn't matter which side is which. Okay, so start, just get the chicken like this, and you want to put it through that meat flesh side. The bone goes above the skewer and feel the way through, and it should come through the other side. And then push it to about there. Yeah, turn it over so you can see the side. As you can see it goes through and you shouldn't see the skewer extreme close up. <laughs> so you do a quarter turn. As you can see this chicken is like that. Again, we've got the chicken there. Flesh, just let it go through the skin. And then feel the, the bone through. And then it should go at right angles to that one. Again, quarter turn, push it through, feel it, so it's going through the skin as much as possible. Again, like that. I'll just build it up as we go along. And you just roughly get it into the centre of the skewer, but that we can shift that up, up and down once we get up to the barbecue. Okay, that's your first skewer. That's the second skewer. Okay, so we've got our bamboo sticks, and we want to put two skewers either side to keep all the chicken together so it doesn't spin on its own. So just roughly. On this side, if you want to push through, just let it go through. Turn over. 
the side. Turn it over. Same again. It doesn't matter if it comes out like this, it's just to hold it all together. And that's it, one ready to go. And last one. All done, doesn't matter if they've gone slightly less perpendicular, but that's fine, they're all ready to go. Okay. Okay, you can see here this one without the grid in the middle. You can just uh, give it another shape and just let it come down. Take it about so we've got the pile at the bottom. It's going nicely. This one we can't do much about, we just let that go and that's fine. Uh, you can see the flame is coming up, the heat's coming up, so it's lighting nicely. So we're still not ready to start obviously our cooking. Right, now that you can see quite a good heat now, that's the sort of uh, thing you want to see. And now we can take the chimneys off. So, first one to come off is this one. Watch all this part. Let's stand back a bit. Now you can see if you wanted to. Once you skip it somewhere else, you can do is just lift it, it's all in there. And just take it out. So we've got plenty of heat there. So just spread it out a little bit. We're nearly ready now to put the char chicken on. But still, we've got to wait about five minutes before we can do that because it's still very, very hot now. So we just need to wait for a good white ash to appear and then we're good to go. Okay, set at number nine just to get it kicked off. Follow me. So now we're gonna lift this up as high, quite high. Turn it off. And get the chicken at a time. So we just have a look to make sure that the chicken is roughly in the middle of the charcoal, which uh, looks like it is. So just push it in to that side, let it loose. Okay. Next one. Roughly about the centre. Just give it a shake. And that's it. Looks like it needs to go a little bit higher. So you want to start it off about there. Okay, time now is 23 minutes past 
five. We'll come back to you later. Okay, we need first installment of salt. So just regular table salt. And now, because the chicken has now got the grease has started to melt, chicken fat, we want to put some salt on to get it to stick on there. Looks like a lot, but a lot of it will drip off, but it will draw out all the fat. See you next time. Oh, actually, now the hard, hard work starts. Drinking and waiting for it to cook. See you later. Okay, it's been a few ten minutes. Time to lower the chicken a little bit. So loosen up and lower a little bit. Not too low yet. Just tighten it off. And we wait a bit longer. You see, we're getting a bit of flame now, so we might want to lift it up a little bit just to cool it off a little bit. So you can do that, or you can actually put some salt, salt on the charcoal itself, and that can help to keep it out. But we've got a lot of fat dropping down now. We don't want to slow it down because that will make it more come down. You just keep your eye on lowering and raising the chicken to control the flames. See you next time. Okay, we see the chicken is cooking really good. So we want to now you can see the slight difference in what's cooking. One side is a little bit hotter than the other. Not much this time, but I'll just show you how to swap them over. So first of all, raise the chicken up very high. And also swap over where the fat is dripping for the charcoal as well. So here's our trusty bit of steel. So we're covering now the fat, stopping the fat dripping onto the charcoal. Pick it up. You can see lots of fat dripping out. Swap them over. And that's it. Nice and simple. We take this opportunity as well to give the charcoal a little bit of a mix around. See this rubbish charcoal that doesn't light. So we will now lower lower it down again. And we'll now start to slow it down. Start to slow it down. So down to 7.5. And if you see that it starts to catch fire again, we can just speed it up again. But see you next time. Hello, Veronica. <laughs> now Veronica is going to put in nice dried herbs. Lots of smoke. 
and flames. It will give a nice flavour to the chicken. Oh, it's got smell vision this camera. <laughs> Nuts. This smells good. So some sage and thyme and maybe a little bit of bay as well. See you next time. It's looking good. Chicken's looking great. Now, time for our taster. You can see these oyster bits here, which are just about perfect. So, if you've got the skill and the speed, you can pull off an oyster. Oh, but be careful, it's very hot. Fantastic. One for you? <laughs> the pet bee. <laughs> oh, just good. Put the camera down. Okay, now it's getting close to being done. We want to separate the chicken out a little bit so we get some cooking done in between the thighs. So take one off. Give a shake. Over to a clean tray. And we're just going to prise open the chicken a little bit. Just getting a bit of space between there. Amazing. Mm -hmm. That's looking good. We can go back on. Oh, don't you wish you were here to try a bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have some for you. Okay. You want to slow it, slow it down again now. Down to number six. So he's doing his final cooking now. You can even lower it down a little bit more if you like. Oh, we can actually give it a shake, the barbecue charcoal, so lift it right up. Get a glove on. Just give it a shake to the Plenty of heat now just to crispen up that skin. Give it the best flavour. One thing you must make sure you've got plenty of charcoal. You don't want to run out of charcoal. It's best to have too much rather than too little.
make sure it overlaps the charcoal on the edges so it cooks the ends as well. Right, lower it down again. Okay, we can see now the colour is beautiful. There is a lot of sizzling going on, which means the chicken is very close to being ready. And we need to now add our second lot of salt for the flavour. So only very little this time, just for flavour. That's all, just that. And just that. That's plenty. Two minutes, three minutes at tops and it's going to be ready. If you've got bigger thighs, these are quite big, take about an hour. Smaller thighs, a little bit less, but always by the look. And you can see lots of sizzling the bone especially. That's very close to being ready now. Catch you next time. Okay, time to take it off, so take the first one off, give it a tap. Bit of tissue, I'll just wipe the end. Just let it come down. It should all come off very quite easily. I was curious to show that it's done. Well done. Okay, the next one. Mm -hmm. This looks good. Come it over. Now it's time for some pitch breads. Ooh, did you make these, Veronica? No. Haha. <laughs>